I remember I was on a radio show um, at the time we were arguing over the super collider, and there was a congressman I had took the opposite view, and he said, he's not against science, he's not even necessarily against big science, he just thinks we have to set priorities. I said, well, I quite agree. Now, experiments at the super collider, the SSC, are going to help us discover the laws of nature, the principles governing everything. Wouldn't you think that would earn a high priority? I remember precisely what he said, word for word, because it was just one word. He said, no. <laughs> uh, what can you do? Um, how do you make a case for someone who doesn't already feel the importance of what you're doing? Well, I think the least important argument we use, or we do use it because we use any argument we can think of, um, the least important argument is the technological spin-off. In a sense, big science is the technological substitute for war. Just as war pushes technology and develops things which are useful even in times of peace, like microwave ovens, which came out of the radar technology of World War II, in the same way, Build, going beyond what we already know in ex, with experiments in fundamental physics pushes technology. Um, one example, when physicists first started to try to accelerate electrons around in rings, they found, as could be understood theoretically, that this, a lot of the energy of the electrons was being drained off in a kind of radiation that was produced when electrons go round in circles called synchrotron radiation. This was a nuisance for high energy physics because it drained energy away from the accelerated electrons, but the synchrotron radiation itself turned out to be very important for studying the properties of materials. And uh, it's a sort of nice twist that when Berkeley lost the Bevatron that I mentioned earlier, what it has now as a substitute is an accelerator that is designed to produce synchrotron radiation for practical purposes of studying materials. Another example of technological spin-off is the World Wide Web, which we all use, but it was invented by physicists at CERN as a means of sharing data that was coming out of experiments in elementary particle physics. <laughs> 